Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name's Lindsay, and if you're not, hello, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. So I got, obviously from the Sephora sale, and I got a bunch of new Charlotte Tilbury products. I'm so excited to try them out. I have them on my face, obviously and I will be going into more details on them, but here's a little preview. So if you like this makeup look and wanna sit down, hang out, chat with me, please keep watching. I just made like a new filming setup, which I will show you in this clip, but it has inspired me so much to sit down and get back to filming some of my makeup routines, makeup looks, and in this case today I got a couple new Charlotte Tilbury products and some other products from Jones Road and etc. in the past like month or so. So I wanted to film my review and just putting it on because I've gotten a lot of cool makeup that I'm excited to use. So for years and years and years at my parents, I had this desk in my room and my makeup stand, my mirror and everything. And I would religiously every day or when I was doing my makeup would sit down, put on a movie, put on a show and do my makeup. And that was my form of therapy. Like it always made me feel better. And in my last apartment, I did have my filming set up, but I, that was during COVID and I just wasn't really inspired as I'm sure a lot of people were. So in this new apartment, I've been here for like a year and four months already, but there's nowhere really to film or like as I thought before, my room is way too small to have a desk in it. So I put my desk out and this is technically the kitchen. I didn't want to like always haul my makeup from my room to here so I just ended up doing my makeup in front of my big mirror but that is obviously not ideal for filming so I had this mirror at my old apartment which was just at my parents for the longest time and I thought of it recently I'm like why don't I bring this mirror and put it on this desk here so I can get back to filming. I'm just so excited and you know, let's just get into it. So I'm gonna start by priming my face and I'm using this Hourglass primer. I got it from Sephora with like either my points or it was a birthday gift and I always forgot about it. Like it was somewhere tucked away in my makeup drawer and Recently, I ran out of my regular like e.l.f. putty primer, so I was like, okay, I'll use this, and holy shit, this stuff is so nice. Like, it feels like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like, feels so good when you put it on your skin. As for the prime benefits, primer benefits, I think it like works pretty well. However, I would not rebuy this because it's probably like 50 or 60 bucks. And I just like my e.l.f. putty primer, which is like probably five bucks. Next, I'm gonna go in with concealer. And as always, I'm using the Merit Beauty one. I really like this one. I've talked about it many times in my videos. So shout out if you are a regular watcher. Love you guys. So today I had all these plans to be productive and I wanted to film something else for a partnership but I woke up this morning and then Paul left and I was so tired so I went back to bed and didn't set an alarm like allowed myself to get all the sleep I needed and I woke up at like 1 p.m. <laughs> so filming kind of went out the window but that's okay I'm gonna film it tomorrow but I had like a nice slow day and I don't usually have these because I always put the pressure on myself to feel productive. So it's actually like a super nice day. Next, I'm just setting my under eyes with the Laura Mercier setting powder. Yeah, I had a nice breakfast. Watch, I'm watching The Patient right now on Disney Plus. It's about this serial killer that kidnaps his therapist 
and locks him in his house. So they're doing therapy sessions to help him stop killing because he doesn't want to. And it's with Steve Carell. Love Steve Carell, but he's never done this type of, okay, actually that's a burger. Um, <laughs> he maybe has done a type of role like this, but this is my first time watching him in a type of role like this, but it's really good. You should watch it if you're looking for something else to watch. Next, I'm going in to contour my face and I'm using the Ogi contour stick. So yeah, after I just cleaned up my apartment because I had some of my high school friends over last night and that was super fun. Mess, the mess wasn't too bad. So just cleaned everything. And then I went to the gym, went grocery shopping just to get some food. And then one of my girlfriends is coming over tonight and we're just chilling here watching some movies. So I got some snacks for us. And then here I am, I, oh, oh, <laughs> I treated myself to a McDouble and fries for dinner because I just didn't feel like making anything. And if I wanted to film this video, I didn't really have time to make dinner. And I justify it because I did work out. So there's that, but yeah, that was my day. And my friend's coming over in like an hour or so, and I'm super excited for that. I love just like, chilling and hanging out especially during the winter too when you don't really like want to go outside sometimes i'm just contouring my nose and lips quickly i just um rub it on my finger because i feel like the application oops like just like it's too big to like actually use on your nose so i just do my best and apply it to like Oh my god, that looks so dang. I swear I trust the process. Then I'm just gonna go in with my blush and like actually do a good job blending it out. And I'm just gonna highlight my face with the MAC highlighting powder and the Mineralize Skin Finish. And I just do my under eyes, forehead, nose and under my chin wherever you want to highlight and brighten up a bit more i'm just gonna have to fix my nose off camera just for a sec because it looks kind of weird <laughs> okay i just added some of the fenty beauty powder bronzer to fix my nose and now i'm just dusting a little bit on the contour cream that I applied. Nothing crazy. I'm not going out tonight, so it doesn't really matter. As always, I'm going in with the Precisely My Brow by Benefit um, brow pencil, and I'm gonna do this off camera as well. Okay, so this is a new Charlotte Tilbury product I got, and I'm so excited to use this. I used it for the first time yesterday, and it's just so amazing. I got an eyeshadow palette and this palette is called Pillow Talk. I wanted something neutral enough and these are all colors I really, really like. I never really buy eyeshadow palettes anymore, so I was very thrilled to treat myself. So to begin, I'm just using this MAC white eyeshadow to highlight the inner corner. I did highlight the inner corner with the light champagne shimmer yesterday, but I just felt like it was not my style. But you know, it was good to good to try out to figure that out. Next, I'm going to take this pretty pink color and go in and do my crease. So it's very pigmented. You honestly don't Oh my god, that's crazy. Um, you don't need a lot. Like, I've honestly probably dipped in too much. But I'm still learning it's a new palette. That's okay. <laughs> and then just going in with my other side. Okay, yeah, I used a little bit less powder and a lighter hand and that already looks better. Then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. Now I'm going to take just a little bit 
of this brownie, pinky brown color and put it in the outer corners of my eyes. And then before I go blend that out, I'm going to take that same color and put it on the outer corner of my bottom lash line and connect the um, upper corner. So it kind of looks like a V or like a, an angle, a point. So you can probably see better on this eye. So just putting it in the bottom corner and then extending it out this way and then pulling it up right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and blend that out. Going in with that same angled brush, we are gonna go in with the light pink and put it on the inner corner of our bottom lash line. Now the fun part, we are going to do a shimmery lid. I am going to go in with this beautiful rose gold color right there. I feel like for this color, you definitely have to do a couple coats. So that's just one coat. And if you're happy with that, by all means, but I definitely like a more pronounced glitter lid. So before I go back and do that one, I just do my second eye to make sure it matches. As well, if you wanted it like very, very pigmented, you are supposed to like wet your brush before going in with the glitter. But again, I'm not going out. So tonight it does not matter for me. So there is the finished eyeshadow. I think this looks so pretty and it really brings out my green eye color. Sometimes I do add a highlight under my brow bone, but sometimes I like how soft it kind of looks without it. So today I'm going to leave it as is, but feel free to go add um, a brow highlight. I have been wanting this product for so long. And I finally got it. It came in a duo set on the Sephora Christmas presents. Um, I got it during the Sephora sale. I got the Charlotte Tilbury blush and highlighter duo set. Shout out to Izzy who influenced me into buying it. I've tried this and it is so, so gorgeous. Like just you wait. And I apply about three dots. If you don't want as much, just apply like one or two. Then I just do like basically the remaining product just on the bridge of my nose right there. I did use a brush for this a couple times but I find it almost, or at least the brush I have kind of takes away the product. So I've just been blending out with my fingers and then going in at the end with either a beauty blender or the brush I've been using. In this case today, I just didn't feel like getting out my beauty blender. So I'm just going to go ahead with the brush after. Like it's such a pretty pink. And the formula, it's so lightweight more like a sheen as opposed to a cream if that makes sense i think it makes my nose look so cute with the added blush now you could leave it like this like it's a really pretty flush but i am going to go in and add a little bit more powder i got this blush from jones road called the best blush in the color peachy it's this really pretty pigmented color and I'm just this is very pigmented so I'm just gonna put on just a little bit on my brush and tap that on then add a little bit to my forehead 
and just a little bit on the nose again. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my cheekbones. Again, I'm just going to go in with three dots and then a dot on my nose and then a line. Okay, like look at that glow. Oh, so pretty. I'm not going to add any powder over this because I think it looks amazing as is. Next, I'm using this nude liner and putting a bit in my waterline. Added a bit too much there, that's okay. The mascara will cover it. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara off camera. I added my mascara and the look is almost done. It's looking so good. I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite lipsticks. Both of my favorite lipsticks are Charlotte Tilbury, but to complete this look, I'm gonna go in with Pillow Talk. So from the Sephora sale, I did get a brand new Pillow Talk liner because the one I currently have is small and I know it's gonna be done soon. So I got this combo last year from the Sephora sale. It was just like the mini duo because I wanted to see if I liked the lipstick formula and the color. And I still have like quite a lot of this left. So I didn't bother getting a new one, but I will restock when I need. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. I should have used a lip scrub on my lips, on my lips before because my lips are kind of dry and cracked, especially the outer corners from the winter, but oh well, you can't tell on camera. So that's all that matters. And then I just go on and put a little bit. And there you go. Look how pretty this looks with the rose gold palette. And oh my god. The blush, the highlight, the everything. Like, I feel so pretty. I highly recommend literally all the products that I use. But Pillow Talk, I know it's raved about so much. But... It's raved about for a reason. The eyeshadow palette I really like. It is a little bit more pricey, but they're colors that you can use every day. And the blush and highlights, I mean, say less. <laughs> Holy shit, I almost forgot to set my face. That would have been horrible because this is what makes your makeup look natural okay so that is the finished makeup look i hope you all enjoyed this video and like the new products i got if you have any questions leave me a question below comment whatever i had so much fun filming this like it actually kind of felt like my normal self again that i kind of lost over the last couple years so if you want any more makeup looks please let me know. I can do some more dramatic ones, different colors, whatever the case be. With Christmas parties, all that jazz coming up, definitely gonna be more Christmas looks and hairstyles too. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you again next time. Bye.